Today we're going to learn how to do a lowercase h. Now the reason the h comes after the l is because the first movement is very similar. So I'm going to start with my blue pen to show you the correct way. So here is a regular h. You would start at the top and pull down and go up over the hill. As you can see, the cursive lowercase h is very similar but the first movement is very similar to the L that we learned yesterday. So let's go ahead and start doing a lowercase h. So you start with a swoop. You're gonna loop up, touch the top, and when you come back down, you're gonna cross right at the dotted line and go straight down. Then I'm gonna retrace back up to make a hill and come out. Okay, watch again. So I'm gonna start just like I did the L, scoop up, Touch the top, cross over kind of at the dotted line and go straight down. Retrace and make my hill. See how I start with a swoop and end with a swoop? Swoop forward, touch the top, touch straight down, retrace to the dotted line and make your hill. All right, so now I'm gonna show you some bad examples. Remember, the red means the bad. All right, here we go. So this would be a bad example. All right, so what is wrong with this one? That's right, look how enormous that loop is. That is not okay. When you cross over, you're gonna cross at the dotted line. I went way too big, so let me fix that one. Swoop up, come down to the dotted line. Okay, all right, here's another bad example. Bad example. Well, it looks really good, but what's wrong with this one? That's right, it's too short. The top did not touch the top line, the hill did not touch the H, the H did not touch the dotted line. Here's a good example. All right, let's try another one bad example. Hmm, what's wrong with that one? Look at there. See that empty space right here? So we don't want a little V. The problem is that when I touched here, instead of going back up to retrace, I went forward. You do not need that space right there. So watch again. Here's a good example. Now watch. I have to retrace back up and make my H. There they are. Have fun practicing your H.